In a surprising turn of events, Qualcomm recently approached Intel regarding a potential takeover, according to sources familiar with the matter. While Intel has not confirmed any formal discussions or deal terms, this development marks a significant moment in the technology sector, particularly in the chip-making industry. Intel, once the largest global chip maker, has faced numerous challenges in recent years, culminating in a market cap of over $90 billion as of Friday's close. The company's stock briefly surged following the Wall Street Journal's initial report but soon fell back to near its previous levels. Intel has struggled to maintain its competitive edge, especially in 2024, when its stock suffered its worst one-day drop in over 50 years. The company has faced ongoing investor concerns regarding its costly strategy to design and manufacture its own chips, even as its rivals, such as Qualcomm, outsource production to industry giants like Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, that is TSMC, and Samsung. Qualcomm, known for its reliance on external manufacturers, competes with Intel in various markets, including chips for PCs and laptops. Intel's recent troubles have also been compounded by missing out on the artificial intelligence, that is AI, revolution. Despite its dominance in the central processor market, Intel has been unable to capture significant market share in AI-related applications. NVIDIA, one of Intel's key competitors, dominates this space with over 80% of the market for advanced AI programs, such as ChatGPT, which run on NVIDIA's graphics processors rather than Intel's central processing units. A potential merger between Qualcomm and Intel would be one of the largest tech acquisitions ever, but it would not be without complications. Both companies have significant operations in China, and previous deals involving either party have been scuttled by Chinese antitrust enforcers. Additionally, national security concerns have played a role in blocking other large-scale mergers in the semiconductor space, such as Broadcom's attempted $100 billion acquisition of Qualcomm in 2017, which was thwarted by the U.S. government. This proposed Qualcomm Intel deal would come at a time when Intel is looking to double down on its foundry business, an ambitious project that could cost up to $100 billion over the next five years. CEO Patrick Gelsinger recently emphasized this commitment to Intel staff in a memo, which also hinted at potential outside investment. However, with Intel missing out on key growth opportunities in AI, and ongoing doubts surrounding its current strategic direction, the potential Qualcomm takeover could be seen as an opportunity for Intel to realign itself within the rapidly evolving tech landscape. Both companies have declined to comment on the ongoing speculation, leaving investors and industry analysts eager for more details. Should the deal move forward, it would undoubtedly reshape the dynamics of the global chip market. However, given the history of regulatory and geopolitical hurdles in past tech acquisitions, it remains uncertain whether this proposed merger will overcome the many challenges it faces. Stay subscribed for more videos.